Yo, what's good YouTube? This is Big Oak Guy here, and today guys, we are back with some more DCUO. So finally, the update dropped. We are finally, we finally have Jon Stewart in the uh, marketplace. So... I ought to have enough just to get him. Yep. So, no. Uh... Let's see. Do I want to get him to, uh, tier 6, or do I just want to just buy it to be done? Let's see. John Stewart ally. I would have to spend, like, 50 bucks for that. I might... I'm gonna just get it. At, I'm gonna just get the Alliance Mega Pack at a later date. But uh, for now, I'm gonna just buy the Ally. So saves me having to spend another twenty or so dollars just for that. Come on, there we go. Not to mention, we also have a uh, Sparrowmoosh coming out on in just like a couple of days on Genshin, so. Might need a couple of dollars just to guarantee him. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy him. Uh, there we go. And then. John Stewart way at the bottom. Nice. Yeah, I know my inventory is like fucking just just a massive mess right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and equip him. Uh, we did not get the new time capsule yet. I'm still saying that we might get a new ally. They haven't announced a new ally for the time capsules, but. At least that I know. Hey, they fixed it. Oh, wow. They actually fixed the whole blank uh, owned ally owned ally screen. That's actually wonderful. Nice. So, let's go ahead and... I want to go to the uh, Hall of Legends to kind of like compare the character models real quick. So... Hall of Legends. I mean, House of Legends. Same thing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, I don't know if they changed it, but I do know that there was some key differences between the actual NPC and the ally. So, let's go ahead and find the NPC somewhere around here. Should be over here. Alright, so, basically, you, you can basically tell that me and good old John here are pretty much about the same height. He's, like, slightly taller. But, you know, that's fine. So, let's go ahead and summon him. As far as Alright, so, allies go, allies you can see that, that he is, like, that. way taller. And one thing to note, he does not have his aura, nor does he have the ring glow. Which, I want to do a bit of a comparison here, so. Alright, so, as far as the ring glow is concerned. We do have an ally that's already like a hard light character. That has a ring glow, and that is the death metal Batman. So while that's recharging, uh, let's go ahead and go over his abilities. Alright, so hard light turret. Summons a turret that fires in a cone in front of it. Power interactions dazes enemies, making them vulnerable to dazing effects. Using a power set com core combo. Using a power set combo ability increases might by 3% and reduces power set combo ability power cost by 3% for 15 seconds cooldown 30 seconds and then enduring will this is mainly for controller characters 
Using a group power shield ability replaces the shield with a stronger green lantern shield, plus 15% health, and increases your vitality for 12 seconds, based on the number of allies shielded, plus 3.2 max. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon Death Metal Batman. Like, you can see that he has the ring glow. Let's go. So, why John doesn't have the ring glow when clearly his in NPC does is kind of just odd. Like, I can understand the aura not being there, but the ring glow is just. Eh, that's, that's a different story. So, let me just go ahead and fix my uh, whole thing here. I just took you off, and I did not want to. Yeah, that's the... I, I'm, I just noticed equipping the allies is different. It used to go to where you can actually go to the slot and pick which one they can put be put at. I'm not used to that. Alright, so combat ally. Let's go ahead and head to... Actually, we can go over here. I was going to do it at the, uh, at my league hall, but we may as well do it here. I doubt there's going to be much of anyone trying to bug us. Switch to combat. Alright, so this is a, like, literally, like, just bought, as you guys already know. Like, I have enough to get him to affinity level 2, but that's it. Alright, so, like, one star, affinity one, completely unleveled. Let's go ahead and see what he can do. In the name of the core. Okay, this, oof. Like, about 20k per hit. 20k per tick, that's not bad. So... As far as the combat ability is concerned, total damage 178,290. Total uh, hits is 9 with a max damage of 20,379 with 0 crits. So the crits is just not a good thing. I don't remember all of them being here. Yeah, him not getting crits is not a good thing, but I'm sure that it might get better as you level it up, but again, you would have to sit there and pretty much work your butt off to basically get him leveled up, because one thing to note is that it leveling up your allies in this game is just not a fun process. Also, the spring event's out. Uh, I may or may not do a video on that. I don't know. It's it's meh to me. Seasonal events. Alright, so Time Allies Vendor. Team up. Team up. Yeah, to get the Rare Alliance, you got you got to spend eight source marks each for like one each. Same with Epic Alliance, you got to spend fifteen source marks, and then Legendary Alliance, you have to spend thirty-five source marks that's not counting if you didn't buy the physical character with like physical money with source marks which by the way is 500 source marks so yeah you know the, the ally system in this game is just not really a fun thing to do like if you're willing to spend money like, the best thing you could possibly do is get it to affinity to level 6 and start working on your other characters. Because at least both of your abilities will be unlocked and you'll have options available. But, overall, just the characters in general, like, if you just want to have a cool, like, little character, like, to go along with, your, like, your henchmen and all that and go along with, like, your uh, emergency signal, like, see, I got Joker... You know, for heroes, you're going to have Batman, which you yeah, have Batman's an ally. So if you're a villain, you can have a Batman-Joker ally combo going on. But 
either way, it's like, it's not really a fun process to level your characters up. Which, some of the buffs are really good. Like, they are really good. Like, for Batman's uh, greatest uh, detective perk, I think it is, you uh, are basically able to see the uh, collections and uh, investigations and briefings on the map. Yes, yeah, see. Uh, world's Greatest. So, reveals investigations, briefing, and collection notes on your map. That's, uh, that's something that you can really use, because then you won't have to use any radar enhancers. All you have to do is pop that ability. That's one reason why I sat there and said, fuck it, I'm going to spend 20 bucks just to sit there and get that, because guess what? I won't have to spend any other type of currency trying to get radar enhancers, which... I do believe you can buy some from Doctor Fate. Grant us your favor. Buy these awards, goddamn. Let's see. Uh, did I pass it up? No. I know you can buy them from here. Yeah, radar enhancer, twenty-five each. Which you have other stuff that in here you can buy. You can get the thirty-pack of solar solar cola extreme, sort of cola ultimate. Compound Omega, and a whole bunch of, like, base items, source marks, like, you know, you really just don't want to really spend, like, unless you don't have the money, you know, you don't really want to spend your currency getting radar enhancers. So, for allies, like, yes, Jon Stewart just came out, but I suggest you guys get allies that you really need. Because Jon Stewart is more or less a character that's like, if you want him, get him. If not, you don't need him. Because, honestly, Jon Stewart is not, like, one of the best allies you can get. But he is a really cool ally. Because it's basically the first Green Lantern character we have as an ally. Not really of the first hard light character, but the first Green Lantern character. And, you know, he is pretty cool. I, I'm not going to sit there in front on y'all that. If y'all want him for the cool factor, if y'all want him to sit there and buy him because you have a hard light character, or if you have a rage character, then by all means, go for it. But still, like, you don't really need him. Like, I don't suggest buying him unless you just really just want him. But the uh, combat abilities, like, they are good for controller effects. But again, that's about as good as, it, as it's going to get. And that's only if you're using controller abilities. Now, the core combo can be pretty good if you're uh, using a power set combo. But that's only if you're doing that. If you're not using a power set combo, like, this ability is basically just going to be useless for you. And, honestly, it unlocks at affinity level 4 anyway, so you would have to sit there and grind to unlock that ability. Otherwise, you would have to sit there and spend a whole bunch of money to get it. I just dropped my phone. But anyways, guys, that was that, that's that's it. For uh, this video, we got not, 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 didn't really get anything much else that's new. It's, <laughs> you know, we didn't really get anything else like new. We just got the seasonal event and we got the ally. Now, sometime this month, we should be getting the new episode. And then we should also be getting the new time capsules at around that same time. So, uh, I'm going to see if I can do a video whenever that stuff drops. And, uh, hey, I'm, I'm still holding out hope that we can get the, uh, get a new ally for, uh, the, uh, new upcoming time capsules. Because, uh, I feel like it'd be kind of good opportunity to do that but anyways that's all guys so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that so if you guys did enjoy do make sure to leave a like day, down below and I hope you can understand that. anyways
I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.